Damn it. If you just asked yourself, what's up with Nick? You're not alone. That's the one burning question. And here to help me answer it is O.T. Fagbenle, who plays June's husband, Luke, and Rachel Lindsay, a Handmaid's Tale superfan who also knows her way around a good argument. Okay, O.T., your character is very invested in this question. So tell me, what's up with Nick? What's up with him? I don't know. He's a strapping young man and he's got some plans. <laughs> so your first impressions are, he's very handsome is your first impression. I'm always distracted by it. I know the guy, <laughs> and still when I see him, I'm like, oh God, he's very good looking, isn't he? That's, that's... <laughs> Rachel, your first impression, what is up with Nick after you've seen this episode? Never liked Nick. Go. Never been a fan of it. Really? Never trusted okay. him. Couldn't get, there's always this dark energy, this dark, does the lighting change when Nick comes on the screen <laughs> or is that just like a mental thing for me? He does bring I'm a real mis sure. mystery with him, mm. yeah. That's yeah, right. Yeah, I just, I don't trust him. I don't believe that he's going to try to help June. I really think he's working for the other side. Do we think that Nick is plotting against June with Gilead Oof. or against Gilead with June? And I personally feel that he is against Gilead with June. I do think that he is smart enough to want to enlist her ultimately to hurt Gilead. Well, okay, well, well listen, I'll just say this, right? Where we are at the end of this episode, he's he, what he says is, he, is he's trying to save her. He's not trying to enlist. They're in no position to be enlisting. There's red dots on people's faces. The measles out here, she just got to get safe. So I think right now, yo, he's just trying to get her off those streets. But obviously, <laughs> if they get to safety, then they can kind of build and then watch your back, Gilead, be coming back. I, I think that if if that's what Nick was trying to do, Nick would have already done that. I just Tape. it's a good point. The reason I paused is because I'm trying to figure out how June has so much power. Hmm. Right? What can what June really doesn't have the power without the help of those in power. So I guess if she hmm. and Nick came together, if he continues to you know, work the system, I guess, if that's what he's really doing, because he is trying to get back with June and save her and save everyone else, then yes. But I'm trying to understand what he and June can really do together, because she really is powerless. But I'd like you to explore that further when you talk about June as a leader. How do you see that affecting her relationship with Nick? Is he inspired by that or is he threatened by it? I personally think he's a little scared of how powerful she's become. I mean... She's, she, I mean, be scared, be scared. She's, she's kidnapping, re, or re kidnapping back kids. She's, she's killing people. I mean, she's, that's scared. I don't know anyone who's done that. Do you know what I mean? In my real life, if someone said to you, oh yeah, by the way, I've kidnapped 70 kids and been responsible for the death of some people. You'd be like, oh, okay, nice to meet you. Like, that's scary. That's all right to be scared of her. She's a powerful, powerful and dangerous woman. Um, but I, th and, and, and obviously is a danger to Nick's safety. But ultimately, like I said, I believe in Nick. I think he's trying to keep her alive. I also wanted to know, if Nicole weren't in the picture, if the pregnancy never happened, if she were never born, do we think that Nick would still have this allegiance toward mm. June and try to help her? I, I'm really struggling with that because I almost feel like he wouldn't. I don't know why you guys are so down on Nick. I never thought when I came when I signed up for this, I didn't <laughs> wait, know I'd wait, be the wait. most pro-team We don't know why you're so Nick supportive of him. We don't understand the... why you're being so supportive. <laughs> He's a threat to I, you. I, I just believe in him <laughs> as a person. Yeah, but that doesn't mean you know it doesn't have to be binary. Like I, I can I believe in him as a good person. I, I don't think he's. I, I genuinely don't think it's the best thing for June. The best thing for June is to have a stable mm. husband who hasn't been part of a fascist regime for the past decade, who they have a long-term kid with, who's, <laughs> by the way, looking after your other kid. Like, I think I've shown myself to be the more stable partner. Despite your glowing reviews about Nick, some people <laughs> do feel that he's dangerous. I have actually sensed this about him. Rachel, do you see him as a dangerous guy? Yeah, especially the way this episode ends. I think the fact that we don't know if we can trust him is what makes him dangerous.
Right. Um, we uh, just maybe there was a point in time where I felt like, you know what? I can trust Nick. But that time is long, long gone. <laughs> okay, I forgot about that at this point. Right. And just him coming, creeping out of the shadows and the darkness right before June says, wait a minute, something's not right. I'm like, that That to me is Nick in a nutshell. I'm hmm. like, uh-huh, yeah. Yeah, can I tell you, I, I thought about I'll you. tell you my favorite moment. I mean, definitely he's dangerous. I mean, have you seen the way he flashes his eyes? Like, it's, it's, it's danger all <laughs> over him, girl. But, 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 but the, thing, the, the thing that made me think that you could trust him in this situation is, did you see the moment where she, he kind of like fist, like he kind of just like taps her with his fist? It's a really yeah. subtle moment. He's such a good actor. But he, he basically, he says, um, I'm, 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 gonna, I'm trying to save you. And then kind of slightly bumps her fist again, like a, like, like, I got you, bro. Go back and watch it. <laughs> After you've watched this bit, guys, obviously. But go back and watch this lot. And then he has a little, and that right there was the thing that made me go, Maybe he's dangerous with the eyes, but he's a good man. Go on. And what do you both think is Nick's next move after this? What Now that we've seen a couple episodes of the season, what do you see him strategically doing moving forward in order to keep June in his fray, but also advance himself? Because clearly he is a, a climber. He wants to advance. He wants to move up in the system, as it were. I think this just came to me. I think... Go that when you said that he wants to continue to go higher and higher in the regime, I do think a part of him wants that power. And what I think he's going to try to do maybe, this is a leap, is convince <laughs> ready, June to like, ri uh, like rise up with him and then maybe try to convince the other side that he's turned her and it's mm. more powerful to have her on their side, but maybe she starts playing the part like he does as well. And then together they're able to take it down now that they have this power. That just came out the top of your dome. You've got insider information. <laughs> um, <laughs> look, no, I don't. I, I just, I just, I'm so <laughs> torn. On one side, he kind of scurries her away and tries to get her free. On the other side, he plays the politics, sends her back, back in, climbs up the ranks and is kind of one of those people who's like, oh, I'll do good when I've got more power. I, I, I don't know. You guys have really swayed me. I'm starting <laughs> to come away. I want to thank both of you for joining us today. You have been lively and insightful and incredibly controversial at times, which I have to say makes this all the more fun. And OT, thank you for your amazing work. Rachel, for your ongoing support of the show. You are the model fan of Handmaid's Tale. So congratulations to both of you. <laughs> Thank you. <Yeah. laughs> Thank you so much. Okay, if you think you know what's up with Nick, share using the hashtag OneBurningQuestion. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs>